Welcome to the University of Limerick. My name is Paul Dillon and I'm the director of the Technology Transfer Office. We have a proud tradition of bringing our research results to the marketplace. The clip you're about to see is another example of an exciting UL innovation that has arisen out of our research activities. The Halo device is an angioplasty balloon and filter that allows cranial perfusion during the deployment as it opens up um, blockages in the carotid artery. The HALO device developed out of some basic research we were doing with the local hospital evaluating plaque properties from carotid artery disease. We noticed from testing these plaques that most of them seem to break after about 50% of circumferential strain, which essentially means that most plaques will rupture while they're being treated using normal minimally invasive devices. Existing minimally invasive treatments for carotid artery disease involve using balloons which use sudden expansion and are inflated at deflated, you know, at four to five second intervals. So what this does is uh, it tends to uh, traumatize the plaque and leads to them rupturing. Embolic protection devices are used during the deployment of current technologies also to capture any emboli or fragments that break off during the procedure. What our device does is that it is deployed and it is left in place for any time frame up to 10 minutes if need be and it also has a filter attached to it. When we are retracting the medical device then the balloon is deflated and the, the disease is exposed to blood flow. Any parts that break off pass through the filter and get collected as the blood flows off to the brain. When deploying this device, it does not have to be inflated and deflate, deflated in a cyclic manner. It can just be inflated and left in place for a time frame to be determined by the consultant. Also, it allows cranial perfusion throughout the deployment of the device because it has a hole down through the center of it. It has a filter attached, which is a novel design, which is also used to filter blood that comes in contact with the plaque during any stage of the deployment or retraction of the device. A patent for the HALO device is pending in Europe, the US and China. It has undergone prototype development, benchtop testing and a small preclinical study to evaluate deployment characteristics. Minimally invasive treatments of carotid artery disease are very desirable because they have shorter hospital stays, much quicker recovery times and you do not get any scarring. The unique selling point of the HALO device is that it's got a combined angioplasty balloon and filter and a very non-intuitive filter design that allows cranial perfusion during the use of the device. The HALO device offers an opportunity for access to the rapidly expanding minimally invasive medical device market.